Yeah. So gosh, it's hard to, com- it's hard to put an entire week into five or six minutes, but uh, I'm going to do uh, just that. So mobile world Congress, historically, it's interesting. It started out as a, uh, as a carrier show uh, for, you know, the telcos, uh, the equipment company makers, and then it, it evolved into a carrier and smartphone show. And what happened this year is, is well, first of all, Apple never showed up to MWC, but um, Samsung decided to bail on MWC as a launch vehicle and instead uh, had, had their announcement uh, three uh, weeks beforehand. So it really was back to where it started, which was a carrier and carrier equipment uh, show. And, and that's not necessarily a bad thing because there's so much going on. Uh, in this in this space uh, right now, and if I could encapsulate this, I would say uh, RAN transformation is absolutely accelerating. Whether that's VRAN or or ORAN, obviously RAN RAN is not going away. I just invented that term. Um, you know the the typical RAN that's you know I guess more looked at as proprietary than than anything else. And you know years before this, we we saw a a huge change in the core network. Uh, as it was virtualized and uh, um, and things like that from from its uh, prior proprietary uh, roots, uh, I would say that uh, the next thing that I I would I noticed was that 5G reality is inching towards the hype and 5G incredible amount of hype. Uh, I think we're in the fourth year of of 5G, but the required elements of the layer cake. Uh, whether it's low, mid, or or high band, are a reality. And I would say, while millimeter wave is incredibly a- important for its low latency, uh, high performance, and high throughput, uh, mid band, uh, I-, I guess I would say, is probably going to be the meat of the action for what I would call traditional uh, type of smartphone uh, deliveries, because it but kind of offers a blending of speed and and latency uh, requiring uh, less uh, uh, tower time uh, to get done what it needs to be done. But uh, it's it's very much becoming a reality. And I think even millimeter wave, some of the countries that had earlier, I wouldn't say rejected it, but just didn't do much with it, are realizing that it, for an internet work, um, and in very high dense uh, areas, a millimeter wave is is a a, a requirement. We saw a lot of discussion uh, about the edge and um, and whether that's you know the Mac, the edge Mac, uh, whether it's uh, putting computing out there or just getting better at switching uh, services. Uh, edge is getting simpler to manage through uh, uh, things like AI. Um, true AI, not not fake AI, yeah. where um, it's it's auto magically doing intelligent uh, switching out there. Uh, the next one, uh, cloud is real uh, in in service providers. I mean, every one of the carrier equipment companies and every one of the um, of the carriers has a a cloud play. Well, what does that mean? So. Uh, instead of doing the point-to-point proprietary that they used to do, uh, which then turned into virtualization, they're doing full-up containers, uh, Kubernetes-based containers that, uh, to me, defines a lot of what what cloud uh, actually is. Wi-Fi Seven is a reality here. You know, it's funny. Uh, we we just you know uh, huge enterprise deployments of Wi-Fi Six, uh, which which is is incredible. Oh my gosh, even U.S. airports through Boingo have Wi-Fi 6, which is incredible because, you know, it took them 10 years to go from 2.4 to 5 gigahertz. But Wi-Fi 7 adds even better features uh, to allow uh, more traffic, higher performance at at lower uh, costs. Two more. Hang in there. Uh, Metaverse still is alive and kicking. You know, it is funny uh, when Meta came out and said, hey, we're we're doing this uh, left turn. Everybody's like, wow, that's, that's amazing. And then their earnings hit. I think their stock went down 25%. And now, you know, the metaverse is kind of like, you know, Ooh, uh, in, you know, to, to some people, but it's very much uh, alive and well. 
And, and I think, uh, you know, within five years, uh, headsets will be uh, at least AR headsets at the point where um, we could get some uh, consumer action going. Meta had uh, a lot of behind the scene booths that uh, was was super interesting. I would say finally, manufacturers still can't, can't get enough semis. Okay, they can't get them for the endpoints. They can't get enough for uh, RAN. They can't get a, enough for the mid network. They can't get enough for the core. So there we go. Whew. An entire week in six minutes. Yeah, it's a lot, Pat. And because the deal is I only get about 30 seconds, I'll say I did a Forbes piece. I put my five trends. We'll put it in the show notes. I think you see uh, we're going from chips to networks, the big focus on private 5G uh, as a service like uh, Cisco. I, I thought the immerse uh, next level and generation of laptops was super hot. You know, so we're going from just mobile devices to mobile uh, PCs. Um, and then maybe the other thing is, you know, it, it's another uh, automotive show. It's continuing to grow that way. And then finally, sustainability and sustainable enterprise and sustainable connectivity was an underpinning of a lot of companies, more of that than I've ever seen at an MWC.